I bought the extra 18 karat gold wallet and the Ridge 24 karat gold wallets to compare the two side by side. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna let you know how you can get your hands on one of these for free. So make sure you stay till the end. I'm Bill Sweet and this is The Dad Bod. Some people wear gold earrings or a necklace, others it might be a gold watch or a ring, but what are your thoughts on people carrying around a gold wallet? I'm talking 18, 24 karat gold wallets. Is that too flashy? Is it big balling? Is it a little bit tacky? In today's video, we're gonna be comparing the 18 karat gold wallet from Extra to the 24 karat gold wallet from The Ridge. Both of these are what's called minimalist wallets or card holders. I recently did a comparison of several wallets from Extra and that's how I found out about their gold wallet. I ordered several wallets from them and it wasn't there. When I went back to the site to get some screenshots of the website for the video, there it was, an 18 karat gold wallet. So I did a YouTube search, couldn't find any videos about it, and then I ordered it. And like always, I started getting ads for the Ridge's 24 karat gold wallet. So that's when I decided I needed to get that one as well and do a comparison of the two, you know, for style scientific purposes. The Ridge wallet arrived first. It comes in this nice looking box and you could tell just looking at this, a lot of time and effort went into designing this box. The wallet redefined, 24 karat gold pleated. The Ridge wallet is designed to streamline how you carry and organize your cards in cash. It expands to hold one to 12 cards. It's got RFID blocking, modular design, and it's backed by their lifetime warranty. We create everyday essentials to a standard you don't see every day. This wallet is no exception. Well, I mean, that's true. You don't see a 24 karat gold wallet every day. According to the website, it's got a gold PVD coating, 99% 24 karat gold. The retail price is 250, but it sells for 195. I'm not sure if that's just a holiday sale or if it's one of those permanent sales. And then the extra arrived in a bubble mailer with this fancy-ish looking gift bag inside. Came with the wallet and a free money clip for spending more than $50. So anybody who spends more than $50 at the time, may, you know, might still be going on, gets a free money clip. Anybody who spends 200 or more gets the gift bag as well. It's not limited to just people who get the gold wallet. So their box is a little bit more muted. The back just says that it's the extra aluminum card holder, 18 karat gold, designed in the Netherlands and assembled in China. This wallet pulls out from the top and look at that. It's a nice looking 18 karat gold pleated wallet. The bottom of the packaging says here at Exter, our mission is simple. We're in the business of making people's lives easier. We aim to improve the way you carry your belongings so you can focus on what really matters. And then it's got a link to the user manual. Not really sure if anybody actually needs the instructions for this. It's literally just a single button. So here are the wallets. This is the Extra and this is the Ridge. I've got to say I'm not overly impressed with either of them. They look fairly normal. If you take a regular gold colored one and put it next to this one, I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the difference, you know, aside from how expensive the gold one actually is. Most people aren't going to look at this and think, wow, that's 24 karat gold or that's 18 karat gold. They're just going to think that it's colored gold, which it pretty much is, except for they used real gold to color it gold. The Ridge has these screws in it, gives you the option to change out the face plates. You can swap them with other Ridge face plates and it lets you swap the, from the money clip to the money band back and forth. But the thing is, why would I want to swap the face plates out? So, I mean, like, let me take this gold one off and, and I'm going to put a green one on the other side or, or let me take this gold one off and put it on this one and uh, I'll put a red one or, I mean, it's, it's just going to look weird. Like keep the gold one together. I mean, it's cool. The extra one holds up to six cards in the card holder. It's RFID protected. And then you can hold another one to two cards in this back plate, plus some cash. The Ridge lets you hold eight to 12 cards in here, plus some bills and a money strap. But then look at this. I'm going to test it in a place where it's probably not as likely to be seen. It scratches real easily. So I wouldn't put this in the same pocket as your keys or your phone or anything else for that matter. I think it would be better if the gold was shiny. I don't know. 
Let me know what your thoughts are. Is this an awesome looking wallet for the price or am I just being cynical? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know which one of these is your favorite. If I get over 100 comments from people who are subscribed, I'm going to pick a name at random and you're going to get whichever one you picked for free. It will have a tiny scratch from the scratch test, but hey, it's still a free $200 wallet. Again, make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment. Let me know which one you think is best. And if I get over 100 comments from people who are subscribed, I'm going to pick one out of the first 100 and you're going to get whichever one you picked for free. That's all for today's video. Check out this video right here. It's the 2023 edition of the Men's Wallet Guide where I go over each wallet type, who they're for and their features. And I'll see you there.